Las Vegas is known to be the capital of entertainment, but what is beyond the Las Vegas Strip? In this video, I'll be pointing out 12 different neighborhoods in Las Vegas that you may have heard of or never heard of before. Before real estate, I used to own an event planning company and a lot of my clients would wander and ask me all the time, Cody, where do you live in Las Vegas? Do you live on the Strip? Everybody had an assumption that I lived in one of the super high rises on or off the Strip. Maybe it was the Veer. Maybe it was, at that time, Mandarin Oriental, now Waldorf Astoria. Maybe it was the Panorama Towers or the Martin, which is just one um, freeway across from the city center. A lot of people had that vision and I told everybody, you guys, there's so many different neighborhoods in Las Vegas and I live in Southern Highlands, which is located on the southwest side of town, but there's just so many suburbs that is so reachable and close by to the strip that a lot of the locals live in. So I'm really excited to share with you the different neighborhoods in this video because I could guarantee that most of these neighborhoods you've never heard of. So starting with number one, Summerlin. Summerlin is the largest master plan community located Located on the northwest side of Las Vegas Valley. It's adjacent to the Red Rock Canyon and a lot of the beautiful hiking and trails along the western side of the valley. Summerlin spans over 22,000 acres and it has been voted as best master plan community in all of the U.S. Summerlin features over 250 parks, all with different trails, dog parks, splash pads, community pools, as well as 26 schools, including both private and public schools. To me, Summerlin is one of the most luxurious communities in the Las Vegas Valley, and a lot of families relocating here have geared towards Summerlin because it has the most number of private high schools in all of Las Vegas and Henderson. And for families relocating here, I talk to parents all the time, and the importance of their decision-making of purchasing a home is based around the school system and which schools their kids are zoned for in that particular neighborhood. So in Summerlin, for public schools, we have the Palo Verde High School, which is located right off of Charleston Boulevard in the heart of Summerlin. And then on the private school side, we have high schools like Bishop Gorman, Faith Lutheran, and Meadows. I think it's really important to understand why Summerlin is so popular, especially with these families relocating here. And that is dictated because of the different school systems that's available in Summerlin. Summerlin also features a luxurious lifestyle with a lot of retail and commercial spaces nearby. Downtown Summerlin is their main shopping center or hub where you could experience restaurants, fashion, retail, gym, parks, and community events. Downtown Summerlin offers a lot of family-friendly activities and events and that really helps with a lot of families that are looking for activities to do. Downtown Summerlin also has the ballpark which is our stadium for the aviators. It's a minor league, but did you know that the aviators uh, ballpark averages over 7,000 attendees per game? And did you know that the ballpark also features cabanas and poolside services? Only in Las Vegas, guys, can you find these amenities, don't you think? Downtown Summerlin also has the City National Arena. That's the ice skating rink that our Las Vegas uh, Golden Knights practice. And a lot of my friends actually take their kids there for ice skating practices, figure skating, as well as ice hockey teams both girls and boys. So again, ice hockey is now a very popular sports in Las Vegas because of its biggest hits and the success of the Las Vegas Golden Knights. And if you're a, a hockey fan like me, um, a lot of these schools have Golden Knights uh, days where you could actually wear your Golden Knights gear and jerseys to school. Summerlin has a lot of activities that are family friendly, definitely driven by schools. And for that reason, a lot of people that are, are relocating here that have kids have asked me a lot of questions about Summerlin. And at the same time, I think Summerlin is the most marketed community here in Las Vegas because it's owned by Howard Hughes. Now I have a fun fact. Howard Hughes purchased 25,000 acres of land in 1952. And in 1988, this community was called Summerlin after Howard Hughes's grandmother. So did you know that Summerlin is actually the grandmother's name of Howard Hughes? That's a really cool fun fact that a lot of people, even locals, don't know about. Summerlin is so big that it actually features three HOAs. Summerlin North, Summerlin South, and Summerlin West. And for those of you that have been watching my channel, I talk a lot about Summerlin West and why you should invest in Summerlin West because that is 5,000 of acres of land. That's the last parcel of Summerlin that is currently being developed. There's a lot of new construction and new construction homes starting in the 600K range. 
and you could purchase a single family home and make that your home and it's going to be a brand new build so again you have all the new finishes all new appliances and again it's a great community to look into as far as investing because that community is going to be expanding and growing in the next five to ten years so stay tuned for more videos on Summerlin West number two Southern Highlands. I am the biggest advocate of Southern Highlands because I have lived in this master plan community for nearly 15 years. Southern Highlands, located on the southwest side of the valley, is the first community if you're driving from Southern California up on uh, North 15th Freeway, we're the first community if you exit west off of the Southern Highlands Parkway and St. Rose Parkway. We have nearly 8,000 homes, 27 sub-communities, 7 parks, including dog parks, splash pads, tennis courts, basketball courts, hiking trails, and we also have two commercial plazas that are filled with restaurants and retail and grocery shopping. So as far as Southern Highlands go, what I love about most about Southern Highlands is the location. We're only 10 minutes away from the Strip, 10 minutes away from the Harry Reid International Airport, and just five to 10 minutes away off of the St. Rose Parkway into Henderson. And the proximity to, for example, the Costco there on St. Rose, or the Raiders practice facility is less than 10 minutes. And it's really easy to get access to the freeway as well from Southern Highlands. We actually have three freeway entry points, the Southern Highlands uh, St. Rose Parkway entrance, Star Avenue and Cactus Avenue. And everything west of that freeway of those three exits is considered Southern Highlands. Number three, Paradise Palms. Located just east of the Las Vegas Strip, this is the oldest and the first master plan community in Las Vegas. This historic community built in 1970s features a thousand homes that are alongside the Las Vegas National Golf Course. Homes in this community features a mid-modern century look that features design elements such as butterfly roofs, brightly colored doors, breeze block walls, manicured gardens, and a diving board. Fun fact, did you know that homes built in the 1960s and the 70s with a pool guaranteed came with a diving board? Apparently that was a thing back in the days and they also enjoyed deep pools. And again, if you're familiar with pool building nowadays, it's very hard to get deep pools because we have caliche here in Las Vegas, which are those hard rocks. So it's really fascinating that uh, these pools back in the days had deeper pools and a diving board was a must have. Another fun fact is celebrities like Dean Martin and Howard Hughes made it their primary residence in Paradise Palms. What I love about Paradise Palms, and I actually had an opportunity to represent a buyer who recently bought a home there in Paradise Palms, is to get really familiar with the neighborhood and really understand and appreciate the mid-modern century design that you can't find anywhere except for that community in Paradise Palm. Number four, Sky Canyon. Sky Canyon is a master plan community located on the northwest side of town, north of Summerlin. This is a newer master plan community and it's located just 20 minutes east of Mount Charleston. Did you know that you could actually go snowboarding, skiing, tubing, and building snowmans in the mountain of Mount Charleston? Well, Mount Charleston is absolutely an amazing outdoor activity location and hiking trails. I really appreciate it, and I love taking my daughters and my nephews there every winter. And from Sky Canyon, it's only 20 minutes away. So if you like the outdoor activity and the winter sports, this might be the community for you. Another fun fact about Sky Canyon, they really focus on the community and the different events um, that they have there. They have a community center, a fitness center, a community pool where you could you know, engage with your neighbors over there. And there are a lot of new homes that are currently being constructed. Another fun fact about Sky Canyon is Station Casinos is planning to build another local casino there in the near future. So again, if you think about equity and home value, wouldn't you want to be in a new community where you know the future development plans of that community with a brand new casino? Contact me today if you're interested in more information on Sky Canyon and learning more about the new home builds there. Number five, Mountain's Edge. Located in the southwest side of town adjacent to Southern Highlands lies a master plan community, Mountain's Edge. Mountain's Edge is known for its affordable homes and family-focused lifestyle. Their HOA is very, very active and they host monthly and quarterly events to engage with the different families and neighborhoods. They recently built a brand new dog park. One thing to know about Mountain's Edge is that you don't have direct access to the freeway. And that could be a pro for some people and a con for some people. The closest freeway entrance on the 215 
Maine would be Buffalo or Durango and it's going to take you about 10 minutes uh, north going on Durango or Buffalo to get to the 215 entrance. And again you guys there's a lot of construction in the southwest so there's a lot of cones and I talk about cones on my other videos uh, with all the new construction happening. So again the two lane uh, two-way lane could be you know you know merged into a one lane and it could take a lot a longer time to get into these freeway entrances. If you're looking to go east off of the Blue Diamond is the entrance to the 15 freeway and that's also approximately about 10 uh, 15 ish minutes depending on where you are in Mountains Edge to get into the freeway entrance. So again that could be a pro that could be a con for my buyers it's it's definitely a con because easy access is definitely you know a lifestyle a lot of my buyers do love the fact that they could hop on the freeway right away to get access to the strip or the airport so that might be a con but again some people might like the privacy and getting off the you know the main freeway entrances so again that really depends on your lifestyle but Mountains Edge for me I really you know think about the outdoor activities and the different parks and the hiking trails that are offered there number six Spanish trails located four miles west of the Las Vegas Strip and in between Summerlin and the growing Southwest is Spanish trails opened in 1984 Spanish trails country club features a guard gated community that spans 640 acres on a champion golf course designed by Robert Trent jr. now you may have watched another uh, video on my channel where I focus a growth luxury custom home uh, it's called the flying sunset and that's a state-of-the-art multi-million dollar custom home that's currently be being built in the Spanish Trail Country Club and it's incredible because every time I, I drive by the 215 and the Trop uh, Tropicana exit I see that and I know that that's located in the Spanish Trails Country Club and with the history of the Spanish Trail Country Club being built in the 80s um, it is a definitely a community that houses a lot of celebrities and uh, um, executives here in Las Vegas. By the way, if we haven't met yet, Konnichiwa! My name is Kaori Nagao, your Las Vegas lifestyle specialist, helping you find your new home in Las Vegas. Make sure to hit that bell if you're considering Las Vegas to be your new home. Now let's get back to the video. Number seven, the lakes. Located just on the west side of Summerlin, this is an older neighborhood that features homes along the waterfront lakes. There you can enjoy a waterfront home and enjoy beautiful scenery there's also a lot of uh, you know wildlife there on the lakes and um, there's several restaurants that are along the lakefront where you can enjoy a dinner out with your loved ones number eight section 10 located five miles west of the las vegas strip and five miles east of summerlin lies section 10 bordered by desert inn buffalo sahara and rainbow boulevard this section 10 community features custom homes on half acre or more lots custom home builders like blue heron is currently developing a community there called prado it's a gated community with approximately 18 home sites and if you're interested in having me do a video there make sure you comment below or if you'd like to get more information on Prado and learn more about these semi-custom homes in section 10 you could email me. Number 9 Lone Mountain, located north of Summerlin. This area was named after a solitary hill that is detached from the Red Rock National Conservation Area, known as Lone Mountain. The summit stands 560 feet above the surrounding area, giving great views of the city and the mountain. The homes of Lone Mountain range from the Spanish colonial horse ranches to luxury mini estates by Blue Heron Homes to three-story mid-century modern revital homes at Hillside. And for me, Lone Mountain is basically an affordable area very close to Summerlin. So if you still want to have that Summerlin lifestyle but not live in Summerlin Master Plan community, I highly recommend Lone Mountain. And I actually have uh, several buyers in the last year that have closed homes in Lone Mountain and for them we were looking at homes in Summerlin but the price per square foot was definitely higher in Summerlin compared to Lone Mountain so for my buyers they were able to get more square footage or more bedroom count compared to the homes in Summerlin for the same budget so again if you're looking for affordable homes close to Summerlin this might be the community for you so what do you guys think about the video so far have you heard of these communities before comment below and let me know if there's any further questions you have on any specific neighborhoods that I've been sharing with you today and again don't forget you like subscribe and engage with me on my channel now let's continue number 10 Centennial Hills located on the northwest corner of the valley 
north of Lone Mountain. This is a 54 square mile community and what stands out for me when I think about Centennial Hills is Centennial Hills Hospital, which is one of the largest hospital out of the 14 hospitals we have here in the valley. In addition, Centennial Hills for me um, features affordable living and lifestyle. Number 11, Silverado Ranch. Located on the east side of the 15 freeway between St. Rose Parkway and Windmill, this community also offers affordable living. This community is very accessible to both the Las Vegas Strip and the Henderson area. You could easily take St. Rose Parkway and head into Henderson, or you could take the 215 East and exit um, you know, Green Valley Ranch or Valley Verde to go into the Green Valley area. Very conveniently located. Fun fact, whenever I need to go to uh, my Japanese supermarket, which is Japan Creek, located off of Eastern and 215, I need to go through Silverado to get there. And the fastest way to get there is not by taking the 215 freeway, it's to actually go down Silverado Ranch off of the 15 freeway. So again, when I think of Silverado Ranch, it's a very close by neighborhood uh, community from Southern Highlands. And I always think of that community while I drive past it when I go to my um, Japanese supermarket, which I go at least once a month to stock up on my Japanese products. Number 12 the Las Vegas Strip. And I mentioned this in the beginning of the video, but did you know that you could actually live on the Strip and have that Las Vegas Strip lifestyle? We have high rises such as the Waldorf Astoria, Veer Towers, Vidara, Trump, Sky Las Vegas, all on the Las Vegas Strip. So if you want to have that Las Vegas Boulevard address, these high rises might be for you. And again, living in a high rise on the Strip means easy access to the Las Vegas Strip and entertainment. So just imagine yourself living at the Waldorf Astoria. You've got amazing resort amenities like their pool, their spa, their valet system. Um, it's walking distance to all the restaurants and shopping there at City Center. Uh, I just have to do a shout out to a couple of my favorites like the Din Tai Fung restaurant in Aria or at Cosmo. You know, there's amazing restaurants and retail there it's just walking distance away how cool is that and especially if you have a lot of friends visiting you what your friends want to live and stay with you on the strip there's also other high-rises I do want to mention that's not on the strip but it's considered a strip lifestyle that would be uh, towers like a uh, panorama and the Martin which is walking distance from the city center but it's across the street from the 15 freeway on the west side so again you know if you're looking for that uh, high energy strip lifestyle living on the Las Vegas Strip might be for you. And again, if you're looking for some rentals, I do take care of my clients relocating here that may wanna rent here first. And especially those that are single that are interested in that Las Vegas lifestyle, the high rise might be a place for you. If you're looking to relocate to Las Vegas and you'd like to know more about the different neighborhoods and communities, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and engage with me. I'd love to hear from you. And if you have any further questions on these different neighborhoods that I shared with you today, please make sure you comment and I'll be more than happy to engage with you. Thank you so much for watching till the very end. This is Kaori Nagao, your Las Vegas lifestyle specialist, and I can't wait to see you on the next one.